Hello. All right. Hello. Uh, I don't even know how to start this the proper way because um, I know we're recording. This is the first guest that we have ever had on the Sloth and Money podcast. Uh, pre-planned. We're actually having a guy. You you introduced him to me. Yes. Um. How did you come across him? Well, um, ladies and gentlemen, our guest tonight this evening is Chris Legend. Um, I was perusing the bodybuilding forms for motivation because I wanted to start trying to get motivated, run faster, run harder, and run stronger. And in the motivational video thread, I saw some videos that someone had posted, and I clicked it. Oh wow! And I yeah, and I clicked your I clicked your link, and I opened up your thread. And I was watching. Oh wow! Yeah. Yeah, it was, it's perfect that you put it in there because that's exactly what I was looking for. I watched the video and I was compelled to keep watching your videos because of the message that you're trying to convey and you're such a strong personality. You've literally become our motivation ever since. And we just we had we were thinking that if we could get you on the show just to talk to you, it would be it would be a great plus for us because we're on a new route in life and we're trying to better ourselves and be better and we found that you are the motivation for us to try and, and get stronger, faster, bigger, and everything. So <laughs> It's an honor to have you on tonight. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely an honor for me to be on here. Um, like I mentioned earlier, this is my first podcast doing ever with uh, pretty much anything, so I'm incredibly grateful to be on here. And um, yeah, I'm hoping this is going to be a good podcast. And uh, I'm actually really surprised that you guys found me on the motivational thread on bodybuilding.com, to be honest. I mean, um, I was just sort of trying to get a bit more publicity, get a bit more advertising, get a bit more views or whatever. And uh Summoned upon that thread myself, and I thought, why not post it in here? I saw some other videos in there already. They were incredibly motivational, and I thought, you know, just just post it on, see what happens. And I guess, you know, I guess, uh, obviously stumbled um, me onto you guys. So that's, I mean, that's excellent news. Yeah, I, I, uh, I mean, uh, I've actually posted some of your links in some other forms, and uh, hopefully um, that's gotten you a few subscribers. Because I know I've uh, I've seen your subscribers go up by maybe like four or five just within the last day or two. And uh, I, we saw you actually put up a new video today. Uh, I think you watched it. Uh, I watched it. Um, the one about distancing those who are negative in your oh, life. Oh, yeah. Uh, way, it, both emotionally, physically, or even if they're positive people, if they just don't mesh with you and your mentality or how you live your life, you just need to push them away and get them out uh, and distance yourself from the negativity so you can actually flourish. Uh, I know I saw that video, and, and I'm pretty sure both of us can actually, you know, Relate to that. Oh, there are people in my life that I cut out all the time. That be, I mean, God forbid, but there's people in my family I cut <laughs> out. There's people I see at work every day just because they're so negative and they're such a wall. They're they're trying to hamper or hamper my you know ability to grow, and I just don't need that in my life. All right, so Chris, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Let's let's I guess we'll go into the interview part of this, and we'll ask you the, the questions. What made uh, you? See. What made you start? making these videos like was there some sort of shift or something that you went through something that you witnessed or anything that basically got you on this path to wanting to help other people um pretty much uh i mean it started when i was very young i mean it really started because when i was in the a few years back i started doing gym and i started going to the gym and i obviously had a lot of uh, role models and influences and a really big one of those was, was uh, greg plitt actually yeah. Who uh, recently passed, so that was very unfortunate. And um, he, rest in peace, Greg Flip. But he was a huge influence for me, and I used to go to the gym a lot. And uh, that's probably where it started that whole, I guess, like disciplining and motivation sort of pathway and like dedicating yourself towards a path of mastery. And that obviously continued. And then from that, I watched a lot of motivational videos to try and get myself motivated to go to the gym. You know, as I know you guys go to the gym, and I, you guys probably know as well, like it probably sometimes you just have absolutely zero motivation to really do anything because it's fucking impossible. Yes. <laughs> It, it is very, it's very difficult. It is a very difficult road uh, to wake up and you just, your entire body is just telling you, hey, you should go ahead and lay back down in the bed. You, you know, it's, it's going to feel really nice <laughs> in there. Hey, you know, you just want to go eat that whole, entire tub of ice cream, you know, but, yeah. <laughs> but discipline is basically the, people think the training is hard. And I think you can agree that the training part isn't hard. It's the discipline of having like proper nutrition and staying motivated. Oh, yeah, definitely, like 100%. I mean, the training bit is relatively easy, of course, compared to, like, the discipline and the dieting and have to keep on it. And instead of, obviously, because it's a lot easier to grab, like, a chocolate bar or a um, a jar of Nutella and have a spoonful of that rather than resisting it and not going for that, but instead maybe having a piece of fruit or whatever to get in your um, vital nutrients and vitamins to produce that muscle growth and accelerate that fat loss and to really initiate that type of uh, hormonal balance within your body. 
Yeah, I think that's that's a huge, huge problem is people just don't understand nutrition. And you obviously know what you're talking about uh, in regards to that because there's people who are like, oh, my God, fruits, they, they have sugar in them. You can't eat sugar. Uh, <laughs> yeah, okay, sure. I, I know I know some people who, when I'm trying to explain to them what they need You're to do. You're talking into this little microphone right here. Oh, okay. Not this one, just so well, you know. So, <laughs> I was going to say, I actually know people who um, who come to me for advice. And I mean, I'm no, you know, I'm no Adonis, but I'm trying to get on the right track. And they'll ask me how I'm, you know, doing the things I'm doing. And I tell them what to eat and what you should be doing for a regiment and whatnot. And they're like, well, I mean, sometimes your body needs pizza. You, you know, you're going <laughs> to... You're going to need these things to nourish and to – your body's just used to it. So sometimes yeah, you're just yeah. going to have to eat pizza. And I, I don't – no, that's – I just don't get that. That's not how it works. So I think that the the, the the staying focused on nutrition and diet is most important for me. I mean I love getting up and going running and going to the gym and lifting and doing all that stuff. But it's really – the struggle comes when it's the temptations. So yeah, I'd much rather – get that stuff blocked out of my mind and yeah go and splurge and eat all that we actually uh chris earlier this week mm. um was it you were you were showing his videos to someone that you work with and they were oh, wow. saying thank uh, you. oh i'm spreading your word oh yeah, yeah we're absolutely. spreading we're spreading the, yeah the thank gospel. you i mean i really appreciate that actually i was um like you said earlier where those subscribers are coming in like four or five i was wondering where those coming in like it was a really um i guess like a big spurt of it like a big uh crazy anomaly and usually don't get like four or five in a row like that so i mean obviously the reason is because you guys um i guess shared my videos so you know i greatly appreciate that oh, thank yeah, you no, very we're, much we're trying to yeah. spread the the gospel of uh constructing your own legend i i know you're gonna blow up and make it big and i can't wait to see you <laughs> no honestly i i can't wait yeah, to see yeah, you yeah. Make it. and I, i'm just happy that i i was able to find you man we really appreciate thank it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Back to the the other point, though. The the guy you yeah, showed yeah. the video to. Sorry about that. Yeah. No, dude, it's perfectly fine. This this is how podcasting goes. Uh, this yeah. is how I like it when it's more natural like this, as opposed to like, oh, yeah. have an entire list of questions in front of me. I hate that. Uh, oh, okay, awesome. Yeah, now that, that that's awesome to hear. Then yeah. Oh no, I love having natural organic. The the guy that you were showing the video to, who, uh, he basically said in so many words. That that way of thinking, that way of life is just too extreme. Yeah, he. Oh my gosh, it really upset me because. <laughs> the, all right, the day that I found your videos was a day that I'm used to running a 5K, and it got to the point where 5Ks are just too easy for me. I, I'm not trying to, you know, bo uh, boast or anything, but it's just like I wanted to yeah. push myself and go further. I was like, you know what? I, I work like 10 hours a day, and I was like, well, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a nap. And I'm gonna go run a 10K. And I, I it was after the nap, I was exhausted. I was browsing that form, and I found your video. I was like, yeah, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go run that 10K because I kept telling myself some things that you were saying in the video. You're saying things such as tomorrow will never come, and you're pretty much just inspiring someone to push themselves because if you don't do it today, tomorrow you're not going to do it, and then so on and so forth. That day will never come. And I'm trying to tell a friend of mine who has the same ideas of he wants to better himself – but maybe tomorrow or maybe next time. And I was telling him, I was like, I found this great guy. You should listen to his videos. We contacted him. We're going to interview him. And he's saying, well, yeah, I don't know. That way of thinking is just too extreme. And it really upset me because I think that I was recently on the track of thinking that he was on. And it's yeah. it's almost a one-track mind because you need to – expand your your thinking and want to be better and and want to do more and the only way you can do that is just maybe to go to the extreme yeah and by yeah. watching your video that night i not only did i run that 10k but i was ready to go more and i tried to push myself <laughs> man i'm telling you like i had, yeah, I had yeah. that in the back of my mind the entire time tomorrow will never come it's like almost a credo that we live by now because of your videos speaking of tomorrow never comes i think what was the name of that video um <sighs> I oh, that that, vi that video that that you guys um, it's a life is short. Life yeah, is short. I listened to yeah, that. Yeah, life is short. Yeah. Did you did Every you write night. that out or did you like uh, basically get that from an outside source? Like the basically the monologues that you do for your videos. How do you come across those? Um, pretty much, man. I just um, I guess it's sort of like an amalgamation of all the knowledge that I've developed over the years of watching other motivational videos. So there'll be little snippets, like little snippets here and there that come from uh, other videos or like other speeches that I've heard or uh, lectures or um, 
and all that other stuff. But the base of basis of it, like uh, the script, I actually create it myself, and that creates that large. Um, that requires me to maybe spend about maybe a week upon it before I really refine it and have a copy that I'm satisfied with that I can publish in a video. Excellent, because that that was basically one of my my things. I didn't know if you you had somebody help you with them or if you had them basically they were forged from your fire or what you know um and, and it's nice to know that they're authentic and not just you know basically stolen from you know somebody like oh i went on a fitness forum and some guy wrote this out so i'm <laughs> gonna make it to a video like you know cotton yeah. pastas uh yeah yeah you know but uh, let's let's see what else. Um, you said you're currently in university, and I don't know if you're uh, going to be like if you're majoring in something uh, like well, well, that would help you along the lines of becoming a motivational speaker or something like that. Uh, what are you currently in university for? Uh, I'm currently in university for the Bachelor of Medical Radiology. So you're a very intelligent fellow, then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, I guess reasonably. I mean. Yeah, I don't know. It, it was pretty hard to get into it, but once you're actually in, it's pretty smooth sailing, and that's, um, I guess, a misconception that other people believe as well. But, I mean, I don't want to boast myself as well, but I guess reasonably intelligent then, I would say. But, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but let me tell you, I was, uh, I like to listen to you while I'm driving, and it's just I, oh, I, I, I love the, um, the vernacular that you use for certain things as opposed to just people will – Especially around here, because we live in Virginia, and people will usually just use slang terms where it's like, nah, <laughs> this, that, nah, man. It's like, I really can't relate to people like that. I like to try and use words that, you know, most people don't have. You'd you know, like to have a large lexicon. Yes, that's the word. Lexic- that's go. a good word. Lexicon's a, word. a good word, yeah. To describe the situation. I knew he was going to bust it out. I could see it on the tip of his tongue. <laughs> <laughs> But um, no, just uh, I want I want you to to feel confident in the fact that you definitely are an intelligent man because I can listen to the 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 way you think in your videos and and your lectures and it's way on another pedestal than most people that I even really you know come in contact you with. No, I think day. he could actually read a phone book and I would find it entertaining. I think he would be. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you ever want to do this, but I mean, I'm sure you would. Uh, have you ever thought about doing public, you know, motivational speaking? Yeah, I mean, that was actually my uh, original intent when I first started this channel. I was sort of like just developing my uh, speaking skills and developing my, um, I guess, intellect in this field of life, I guess, in the field of like inspiration and ideologies of like maximum growth and stuff like that. But as I've gone over and I've um, developed this channel for maybe like four months now, I believe it is, five months now since I released my first video, and I'm not really sure. I mean, public speaking would definitely be a um, something that I don't wouldn't – mind going into but right now i just sort of like because the thing with public speaking i find is that it's um i don't want to say a bit cliche like the like you can't really touch upon topics that a very small group of people would relate to like you'd have to yeah i I actually yeah i I, I see exactly what you're saying because it's the same problem that we have we just can't relate to people you know yeah yeah it's just you can only relate to people on like the surface level sometimes because we have a different way of thinking and our way of life is just completely different than other people. Yeah. 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 Exactly right. I mean, um, like there's a very small amount of people that like, I guess the topics that I sort of touch upon people find interesting sort of thing. Yeah. 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 I don't know what I'm saying, guys. I'm going to no, be completely no, exactly. honest. I'm pretty nervous right now. So oh, my no, first no, podcast. dude. Yeah. No, I, we're so, not like, getting, dude. It's, it's, I'm stuttering a lot. And no, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> well, calm down. Uh, let's, let's, it's, yeah, yeah. We're not even big time. We you, only have, like, what, 100 We have maybe 100 so <laughs> we, we do this mostly for fun. Yeah. Um, you know, we, you, are, you are in good company. Don't even no, don't it, worry it, about it. it. We're basically, we're just bros and friends right now. Like, it. Yeah, the yeah. biggest thing I ever did uh, was that last year when I was doing my I was doing a paranormal podcast and I had one night the largest amount of live viewers, uh, which was like Saturday night at midnight. I had 30 viewers be my maximum <laughs> live, which is pretty good for Saturday at midnight. And after that, yeah, for yeah. some reason, I just kind of quit doing the show because it was just too much work. And I'll read it. Yeah. yeah and I, I kind of regret doing it, but it's you know, dude, it's perfectly fine, man. Like it's. We've been doing podcasts for a while now, and 
it'll, it'll get easier. You know, I'm pretty sure you're going to get contacted by more people, or you can even sign up for a thing to talk to more people to get your... Uh, I'll try and forward that information to you if you want to try and do more podca- podcasts with other people to get your, your message out there to more people. But no, I understand completely what you're saying about mm. <clears throat> contacting, like getting your message through the sh- to certain people. And you want to talk about people stuttering on their words. Now I'm stuttering my words. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Getting your message through it's to certain... Oh, it, it is, Mike. You're, you're next, Mike. I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I I might do it. Oh, there you go. Right I there. going to get it. <laughs> he already got it. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, if you're like... You know, you want to go through your your regimen that you do, and you want to do this thing about life is short, and you want to get that out to people who are already motivated. It it's basically like a drop in the bucket instead of being the entire cup of water to somebody. Yeah. You know, like somebody who's sitting on their 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 ass and they're not exercising, they're not doing anything, and they're just playing video games all day, which is basically what we used to do. Oh yeah. And they come across a video like yours, that might be the motivation they need. But as opposed to somebody who's already running, you know, Tough Mudders and stuff like that, they see your videos and they're like, okay, I already know this, I re- relate to this, and, you know, it's, I don't need to see this video. So I, yeah. I think you're, you you actually have a great, uh, let's just say product. You have a great product yeah, the, that the, you can market to people. Exactly, because the audience for people that need that little extra boost to get up and going is, is more than... Uh, available. I mean, there's a lot of people who just, there's a lot of people who want to do it, but they just don't believe in themselves. And I think that, well, I know, I know that you can convey it in such a way that you can motivate people to do things that they don't think they can do. Cause I mean, shit, you did it for me. And, <laughs> like I'll tell you yeah. that day that I, I ran, I was like, there was a two motivational speakers I listened to before I ran. And I hope, I, <laughs> and I know You're gonna, like below his head. up. No, I'm not trying. I'm just being honest. And there was two people I, I listened to that day before I ran. And one was you, and the other was Arnold Schwarzenegger. So I, I just want you to know that you are, in fact, oh, in good company, shit. man. I'm telling you. That's, yeah, why yeah. that's why I'm telling you, man. You're going to blow up because you have you have the means of personality to reach that spectrum of whoever you're trying to contact. And he's and unique. Point that's the other thing. He's unique. You're unique in the fact that when I watched that first video, Life is Short, um, your uh, personality came through in such a strong way and in a good way. You're um, – I, are you you're in Australia? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm in Australia. Australia. Yeah. yeah, down under the land down under. Yeah. Let me tell you, your voice is so awesome because it's just like most people you, yeah. are, are are they don't have such a, a distinct voice, but your your voice is almost like when I hear it your grasps voice, your attention. Yeah, I know in. immediately who's speaking to me. If I if I'm listening to something on my phone and I hear someone come up, but then I hear your voice, I knew immediately that it's you. So I think that's um, your voice and the the message that you're trying to get across. It's all it's all packaged together. So great, and I'm telling you, man, I'm waiting to see you like an infomercial. That's so. that's one of the other reasons why why I was like maybe we can contact this guy and if he ever hits it big, we can use him as a mentor when he is successful. Because you like you, like you said, you're you're in university. Uh, you I believe you said you have your finals coming up in a couple weeks. So obviously yeah. you're achieving the dream that you want to achieve. Um, let, let's let's go ahead and get him to talk a little bit more because you know it, he's starting. We're, <laughs> try, we're trying to get him comfortable here. You know, it's the first time he's ever done. I'm a just so excited, man. I, I mean, know, dude. It, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this all week, and I, it, it really has. It actually got me through my work uh, today. Today was a very rough day. Oh God, I I do not like working there sometimes. But um. You you obviously are big into the world of fitness. Uh, right now, like, are you on like a, a bro split kind of deal, or are you uh, doing like the the classic big five? Uh, what what do you do? Um, what do you do for to achieve your goal in fitness? Yeah, I mean, um, truth be told, I actually haven't been to the gym in a while, man. Like, I've been to the gym in maybe about four months or so because I recently developed like a um a scoliosis in my back. Ugh. I've been seeing a chiropractor about that, and um. I'm not really sure why it exists. I mean, I understand, like, probably it's due to some muscle imbalances and a whole bunch of this and that and all that stuff. But from my understanding, is it's sort of like a, uh, a genetic genetic heritage from my dad and from, like, uh, before that because he's got a few back problems and, obviously, I think his bones are just generally a lot weaker. So I've been out of the gym for a while. But, yeah, I'm still keeping my diet up sort of thing, so I guess that's still going. But I mean, hey, as long as you don't get deterred and my phone – wants to make all the noise in the world now. <laughs> uh, yeah. the, people trying to message me. But no, as long as you... And I think it, it, it proves through 
what you're trying to convey as well. You seem like the type of guy who's not going to get deterred and you're going to stay motivated. And I want you to stay motivated. And uh, it's, it's unfortunate to hear that you have to deal with that because I know uh, you seem like the kind of guy who wants to go out yeah. and train and, and go hard at all times, you know, cause like you said, tomorrow never comes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Got to live it up. You know what I mean? Got to make the most exactly. of it now. Uh, is there any, like, are there any, yeah. like, uh, let's see, like any big things that you've had to overcome in your life? Cause I know we've got some that we've talked about on the show before, like catastrophic stuff, anything that, that you basically would put in your, the, the movie of your life, uh, that would be something huge that you overcame or anything like that? Oh, that's a tough question. Um, Anything huge that I've had to overcome? Um, because, I mean, if you want to stop and think about it for a moment, I know I can I can talk about all the times that I should have died, and that's my motivation. Um, yeah, yeah. My, um, my tonsils exploded when I was a kid, and I almost bled out. Oh, wow. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now you understand. Oh, what happened I'm, with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, like, I just, I don't know if you ever overcame anything, you know, terrible or, like, I fell out of a truck one time and landed on my neck, should be dead, but I'm not, you know? And, oh, and wow, I'm that's glad, crazy, yeah. I'm glad to be here having this conversation with my best friend and, you know, this awesome guy from the internet, you know? Yeah. Um, no, I don't really have anything along those lines, to be honest. Like, I've never had a, uh, um, I guess, incredibly, like, little near-death experience. I mean... Uh, I don't think anything that I've had to overcome would even remotely compare to what you guys would have overcome. I mean, considering the life experience that you guys would have had as well in comparison to me. I mean, I'm only 19 years old, but hopefully, though, in the future, uh, I mean, yeah, yeah, we're old men. Get some life changing things, yeah. Well, we're 25 and 26. We're 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 dirt. We're basically old as dirt <laughs> now, right? I I feel like I'm yeah. 100. Someday. <laughs> <laughs> I actually feel so much better now than I did when I was. I'm going through puberty now, it, mentally, as opposed to how I felt when I was a teenager. When I was just a fat slop, you know. We'll, <laughs> uh, we'll yeah. send, we'll, we're gonna send you pictures one day of how we used to look, and you're gonna be like, Ugh! yeah, yeah, I'm gonna want to see this. I mean, I, I remember in the email, you guys, um, what was it? Was it ninety? Uh, I was two. Oh, I was, how many? I was yeah, two ninety eight, yeah. and you were two sixty, right? Yeah, I was two hundred sixty yeah. <laughs> pounds of fat yeah. wow. and uh, desperation. Wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and now we're both basically in the same weight class, right? Sitting in one eighty five and one ninety. One eighty five, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Nice. Wow. So, you know, wow, so one of you guys. No, go ahead. Oh, so one of you guys has lost a hundred pounds, and the others lost. Uh, um, yes, I've, I've lost. Yeah. Uh, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah right. I've lost like a hundred and ten. Uh, Some like it's it, wow. It's yeah, it's a lot. It, it was it was. And I'm glad I did because now we actually I come across people like you from fitness forums and things like that. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think like what, what are other questions? Did you have anything you wanted I, to ask him? I, I man, like before I, we started to just dig into this, I was sitting here thinking. I was like, there's a list of questions I could write, but like you're saying, I really didn't want to write a list. I just wanted this to be organic and just wanted us to flow off the brain and talk to each other. Um, yeah. One one question I have: Have you been over? Have you traveled to the states yet? No, I've never traveled to the States, but that's um, something that's really on my, uh, I guess, bucket list sort of thing. I mean, one day hopefully travel to the States and maybe yeah. um, even in terms of like uh, YouTube, in terms of like motivational speaking and all that stuff, I'm hoping maybe I can branch that off into the future, maybe make a brand out of it, make a business out of it, see where that takes me and maybe branch it over to the States. But yeah, have you guys ever been to the land down under? Oh, no, God, no. I, uh, <laughs> I really would love to. I mean, it's, I, I'd love to travel, period, but that, I've always wanted to go just to different places like that are exotic, and that's on the list. It's actually pretty uh, – the way that we think about it now, whenever I travel somewhere, I'm like, is there a trail around here that I could hit? Yeah, like that's, yeah. that's how I'm going to start approaching things, you know? Uh, are there yeah. any, like – do you have any other, like, huge big goals? Uh, I mean, obviously, you, you want to help people because you're – uh, you're going to university for such a useful thing in what the uh, it's the medical field, right? And yeah, before you before you answer that, let me tell you one thing that you mm. may not even realize that you have accomplished. That's such a, a big feat. It's just going to university. Oh yeah. Because I mean, granted, you may be younger than us, but we we haven't gone to university or or the college colleges around here for whatever mm. reasons. I know my reasons are just like. I, at the time, yeah. and I, I want to, but at the time when I was much younger, I didn't believe in myself or my head just wasn't in the right state of mind where I was thinking yeah. here and now instead of in the future. So definitely give yourself credit for doing that because that's big. That's a very but big it, thing. Uh, here anyways and, you know, in America. Oh, yeah. We're a land of under underachievers. Uh, is there any, like, specific message that you want to go ahead and, like, give out to our, our viewers uh, or listeners or anything like that? Like, uh, something that uh, – a piece of advice that you could have used – 
maybe maybe when you were a little bit younger or something like that yeah yeah or anything um pretty much the biggest piece of advice is just start now you know what i mean like in relation to that life is short video like just start now don't wait for tomorrow because the hardest bit is always starting and once you start getting that ball rolling anyway like you start building up that momentum and you start instilling those habits within you and like we were saying earlier um about how you said your friend at work or whatever like it's just really hard just to i guess sort of start and get the ball rolling and even in terms of dieting like we were saying and in terms of exercising but once you get into it it's a lot easier to get into uh to continue on but pretty much that's my piece of advice just start now like face your fears as well that's a really big thing that i really believe in like um the path of greatest resistance is usually where you need to step and sort of go into and really tackle it head on like don't leave anything behind like live with no regrets and stuff like that you know like all the uh yeah, all that. Yeah. Yeah. There's a uh, was it the um there's a, a Greek philosopher who said uh, to become great and one of the traits of becoming great is doing something that you don't want to do every day. And and I think that rings true because obviously I don't want to do. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to train, but you have to. It's just something you have to do. You don't want to. It, it, it could just be simple stuff. You don't want to do the dishes, but guess what? Go do them because yeah, helps. you got to do them. You exactly. got to do them. Yeah, it's just something you got to do because it it ends up. It's just like what Bruce Lee said. Uh, if you train a certain way and you start living a certain way, it bleeds into all facets of your life. Yeah, yeah, that's really a strong philosophy that I believe in as well. Like everything branches on, everything bleeds into it. Like say for example, um, uh, you're in a shower and you know you've been showering for like 30 minutes now, or so you know you should really get out and like actually do something really productive instead of standing there and fantasizing all the time or whatever and like imagining the future and you could have done this, could have done that, and like even just being able to turn off that shower head at that you know moment in time, the second you realize like shit, I got to get out of this, and being able to actually get out like sort of develops that willpower and that just bleeds on and you keep on developing that willpower and stuff, and it just carries on, it just bleeds on and then eventually I guess, you know, life's just a whole um. I guess training session. Yeah, it, it really it that, that's, yeah. that's one way. To, that really is one way to think about it. It's like uh, there's this book uh, I heard about the other day because there's another podcast I listen to. Um, it might benefit you. I don't know if if you're into that. It's called the uh, Ben Greenfield podcast. He's like a uh, triathlon and obstacle runner, and he basically I'll set you up, yeah. Uh, he, yeah, he just does. He talks about nutrition and stuff like that. But there's a book called Eat That Frog, and it's just about waking up. And getting the I've thing heard that, of that. Ex- see exactly. I've That's, heard of that. Yeah, I've pop- heard of that book. It's a popular book. Uh, yeah. Basically, it's about getting the thing that you don't want to do out of the way at the beginning of your day, and then you oh, ride yeah. that momentum through the rest of your day, and that will end mm. up carrying you through your entire life. Apparently, is, is what the book says. Yeah, and, yeah. And I, and I, I mean, think that's a, and you basically you have that mentality in, in my mind the way you approach your videos. Yeah, just sort of got, got to get that out of the way and then just keep on going afterwards. I mean, a lot of the times do I find myself sometimes because um, at the beginning of the day, I usually write down a to-do list of what to do. And like now sort of like analyzing it, I realize like whenever I do those easier tasks at the beginning of the day, sometimes the harder tasks at the end of the day don't even get completed because then I start telling myself stuff like, oh, you know what? You've done a good job today already. Like, don't worry about it. But like this eat, the, eat that frog thing sort of says, like, just get that harder thing out of the day, then ride that momentum and sort of like you know, sort of like slope down here and go with the momentum, go with the force that's already driving you along the way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, mm. you, you got anything else? I mean, like, I'm um, trying to... No, no, I'm just enjoying... I'm really enjoying this talk with you. <laughs> I, I'm enjoying the company. I really am. It's I will just... say, um, one thing, another thing that stuck out to me was when I was watching Life is Short, is when you watch most people and they're trying to inspire you and they're trying to motivate you, they'll be all... You got to go and get it. You got to grab life by the horns. And I was watching your video and there comes a point and you're like, this is fucking bullshit. And I'm like, <laughs> yes, I'm yeah. with this guy. This- <laughs> when he screams, uh, tomorrow never comes the second time. Oh my God. Every time every I hear time. it. Every time I hear it, it's like it, it resonates with me that it's so true because unfortunately there's a couple people that I was not close with, but I know that were in my life at some point in time and they were both around my age just a couple years older and within the last two weeks both people passed away and it just really is a sobering aspect that life is so short and if you don't do what you want to do now that day will not come when you get to do it and eventually you'll be on your deathbed like you say and you'll be full of regret and there's just no more time left so like you say I want to be there, staring death in the eyes and saying, "Come, Come and get, get me, me motherfucker!" <laughs> <laughs> so. That's um, 
Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you guys actually uh, like that, to be honest. I mean, I get a lot of mixed reviews because yeah, I, I can, sort of I believe can it. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I really yeah. can. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I get um, lots of mixed reviews in terms of like um, a lot of people like your work friend as well. Like the intensity is just too high. Like the message that I'm trying to get across, like sort of like it's sort of um, just too intense. You know what I mean? Like sort of ease up on it. But the audience that I'm sort of trying to really aim towards and inspire, motivate is – people similar to like me and you guys, the people that need this harsh truth and sort of need it to really like smack us right in the face before we can pick our asses up. Like I don't really believe in like babysitting people and sort of nurturing them and saying like, oh, it's going to be all right. Like, tomorrow you can do it or, or you know, the day after. This happens to everyone. Like I'd rather say something like, look, all right, you didn't do it. You fucked up. Come on, let's you try again and keep on going. Like even if you fail, just keep on going. Uh, everybody needs that tough love at some yeah. point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, did you guys um watch that uh Joe Rogan podcast? Do you guys watch Joe Rogan? No, but I know it's a very popular podcast. Yeah, exactly, he's yeah. very yeah. off the wall. I love his thought process. Yeah, so he's someone that really. Uh, you're a fan of Joe Rogan, then, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Joe Rogan. I mean, he uh he inspired a lot of um he inspired just a lot of the ways that I think now in my mindsets and everything. I find him as a really uh, motivating figure and inspiring figure, definitely. Uh, I mean, uh, if you want to go ahead and, uh, well, like four more minutes, cause I know you didn't want to stay on super long. Um, yeah. Oh, no, I can, I can stay for however long you guys want me to, to be okay. honest. I mean, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's great. Okay. Cool. I'm actually really enjoying this. Yeah. Uh, right, I'm sorry, sorry again if I'm really stuffing oh, up. Dude, no, okay, you're, right. you're actually, uh, you're, you're molding <laughs> into the position. Well, we've been talking a whole lot, maybe just to help get you along and, uh, help yeah, thanks grease, that, grease the you. gears. Oh dude, no problem at all. Um, is are there other people that you look to uh, to m help motivate you to help get your message across? Um, some big players would probably be Arnold Schwarzenegger. So that was really inspiring uh, for me when you guys said that the two motivational speakers that uh, I believe Mike said he listened to was me and Arnold. Yeah, that day I listened to Arnold. Yeah, because yeah. He uh, was talking about his five keys to success and as much as I liked that video, I loved that video and it was very heartfelt. I was listening to him give a speech. And then I had to listen to you one more time, man, because I needed to light that. Fi <laughs> I needed to light that fire. And, uh, his, fire. Yeah, Arnold's was like very uh, low key, down to earth. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Chris's was more. I'm gonna kick you in the ass so you can go do that <laughs> fucking run. You know? And I. Yeah. Um, another one of your videos that I gotta say I love is the uh, the people will judge video. Oh yeah. Because when I uh, yeah. when I was bigger, I had I was very yeah. self conscious about everything, the way I looked. The, way, the things I would dress, the things people have to be saying about me. Because you're, you're still not like that, right? Oh, well, I still... <laughs> I, I judge myself more than... Shit. Yeah. I probably have body dysmorphia. Where uh, even... I was about to say, <laughs> uh, alert Chris, he has body dysmorphia, and he refuses to say that he's in good shape. I, I mean, It's hard for me to look yeah. at myself in wow. the mirror, because I always want to hit this pinnacle, and I could yeah. be shredded yeah. with abs and seven feet tall and rock solid <laughs> and still feel like I just, I'm just i not looking good today. Like, yeah. <laughs> But um, yeah. the, the People Will Judge video is so excellent because there will be times where, like, I've always been an outcast. So I, I, when, I, when I was younger, I tried to fit in. But now I'm at the point in age where I'm confident with myself to the point where I try to forge my own way. And I'm, yeah. I'm a unique personality. So I kind of march to the beat of my own drummer. And people do judge. And you just got to say, whatever. I mean, I am who fuck I am. Him. Exactly. You got to yeah, be yourself. Fuck him, yeah. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Uh, do you have any uh do you have anything planned like uh as of right now that you know of that you're going to be putting in your future videos or anything like that like any sort of mantras that you um, want to go ahead any, and get out any sort of mantras um oh uh, not in particular but I do have two scripts coming up and um two videos coming up sorry within the next two weeks awesome and the first one is titled like uh, you are not your stereotype and why assimilating with a group of people is committing suicide so that's pretty much just sort of like um saying like don't be a Just sheep. because other, yeah. Don't be a sheep. Yeah, don't be a sheep. Don't don't act and live out the way that other people tell you that you should be acting. Just because you're that certain type of, I guess, stereotype of people. You know, like a lot of people believe that. Um, like say for example, um, oh god, I don't even know. Like, uh, like a lot of like in like Indian people, for example, are meant to be really smart and they're meant to be like hitting the books all day and becoming doctors and just being incredibly studious and academic, like. And then a lot of people as well, they start believing, they're making, they start making like this their reality just because it's a stereotype that's been happening for so many years before them. And they start making it that reality and they start living out and becoming that when like, 
in their heart, like they don't really want to be that at all. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can relate perfectly. Oh, oh I know that. exactly what he means. I was gonna um, because um, I'm I'm obviously black, but you might not be able to tell that because of the way I talk. <laughs> like a lot of people around here always equate me to being the the quote unquote white black guy or the Oreo or whatever. Because I just, oh, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I could choose to speak like that, but I kind of like using words that, you know, belong in a dictionary as opposed to yeah, yeah. in some music video. So And you like actually... Yeah, some I, music video, yeah. <laughs> Instead of like some Lil Wayne music video. Yeah, exactly, fan. exactly. Like, I, yeah. I don't know. I, I, I could read a book or I could go twerk or something. You're like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I prefer to go read, maybe, you know. But that's just me. Or listen to Metallica. Or listen nice. to Metallica. Yeah, I get judged a lot because I'm... I always like to consider myself the alternative black guy. So... Yeah. <laughs> That's I'm, really good. I mean, yeah. that's definitely a motto for my uh, life as well. Like, always be the alternative, I guess, you know. I mean, always sort of be different and not necessarily be different for the sake of being different, but just be different as to how you want to be. I mean, like like you said, I imagine a lot of people would judge you for that. Like, if you were to just go up to, I don't know, anyone and start saying that you like Metallica and start, liked reading and liked and using words that are a bit more, like, I guess, expansive and articulative, people would say, like, oh, that that's – um. You know what I mean? Like that's that's weird nerd. or something. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, me, yeah, yeah. You're a nerd. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, I definitely had to form uh, an outcast society, and I'm so grateful for it because if had I not done that, I wouldn't have this gracious and beautiful co-host right here. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that video because that speaks to just how I live my life, and that's gonna be a good watch. Uh, I do yeah, have some uh, some suggestions that I was going to float your way because. Uh, oh yeah, easy, I, awesome. I'll write oh yeah, because I exactly I've come across you know I'm pretty I don't know about you, but I used to spend about two to four hours a day browsing, uh, several fitness forums. So obviously I'm pretty sure both of us have seen our share of motivational quips and things mm. like that. Uh, mm -hmm. One of my favorites is, is uh, Are you dead yet? You know, like if you're not dead, why why did you stop fighting? You know, oh uh, yeah, and I think that's a good one for like when you're trying to hammer out that last rep. Or like, remember the other day we do circuit training. Uh, he goes to the gym more than I do. I don't really go to the gym. I just do uh, circuit training in my backyard because I've got big tires to flip. I got sledgehammers, all that heavy bags to carry and do lunges with. And we were like pulling bags. Uh, what we do is we tie a hundred feet of rope to a hundred pound heavy bag and we pull them for the mm -hmm. entire hundred feet to ourselves twice in a row, and then we go do our things. And we were running out of gas right there at the end, and you hear me cussing at the bag when I get it, like, 20 feet away from me, and I'm like, come on, you fucking bag, you you piece of shit, <laughs> and I'm just yelling yeah. at this bag, and that's basically the thought process is, I'm not dead yet, I better keep fighting, you know, it's, it's like that, I don't know if you have any sort of uh, sayings like that that go through your head when you were training mm -hmm. or actively doing things like that. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, sort of like you know how whenever you wake up the morning after, there's a lot of like lactic acid and all that stuff. Um, I think I saw this in a movie a while back, and some guy says to another guy, he's like, some guy says to another guy, one guy starts complaining, he's like, oh, I really had it tough and everything, I really had it tough, and then the, then the other guy goes, well, did it kill you? And the other guy goes, well, no, it didn't. And then that first, the other guy just goes, well, then just keep on going, just shut up and keep on going. It's, That's the thing. Like, if you're not if you're not dead yet, then you don't have an excuse, you know. Like exactly, it's like what Patton, yeah. was it Patton, I believe, said. If you're going through hell, keep going. Mm, yeah. Um. Yeah, I believe that was him. Yeah, I heard that quote. Yeah. Yeah, I I don't remember who it was. Keep on going. I don't want to quote it to the wrong person, but I believe it's Patton. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. You never want to quote it to the wrong person because then that makes it sound like you know. But they're smarter than they are. But sweet, speaking of quotes, um, at the end of your videos, you say construct your legend. Now, well, how'd you come up with that? Is that something? Is that one of your things that you live by, or is that one of your your mantras? Um, yeah, that's definitely a mantra that I live by as well. Um, the reason I have construct your leg legend is like, because obviously all all men are mortal. Everyone is mortal in this world. Like all human beings, all animals, and everything. Like even the tables and chairs, eventually one day will just end up being dust and everything, and the stars and everything. So everything's mortal. But obviously, your physical form can die, but you can leave behind a legacy a legacy that will inspire other people and help other people along their journey so they can be inspired to leave their legacies and help other people and it'll just be a domino effect and that's sort of where it came from i mean construct your legend and yeah i, I, I yeah. think it's i think it's it's an amazing three word like, no it is it, it is it it's, sums up a, a whole lot yeah it's very good like um i don't <laughs> it's gonna sound ridiculous but like uh when i used to work at best buy we we had 
pages and pages of acronyms and abbreviations that we had to memorize so we could uh, we could talk to each other on the sales floor. But one of them was the um, one of them was called the virtuous teaching cycle, where say if I teach something to Vic, he could then teach it to you, and then who could go on and then so far so on and so forth okay, teach it yeah. to someone else. So that that's exactly right. Like we were like earlier, we were I mean talking about the Bruce Lee and just even the patent. It's like no matter what kind of mark you leave in life. If it's meaningful enough, someone else can benefit from it, and that's that's a really cool thing that I don't think people really take can grasp because I think that a lot of people want to live in the here and now, and not so much realize that what they do now is going to have a major impact ripple on effect. people. Yeah. Exactly. yeah, exactly. Yeah, it ripple effect, and like, and that really is up to the person to decide whether that ripple effect is going to be positive or negative, and a lot of people. We do choose that negative way of creating like that domino and that snowball effect because I guess it's a bit more like quote unquote the easier way out. Like it's a lot easier to when you get off a bus or something like that, like not say thank you and just get off a fucking bus and slam the door behind you rather than it than it is to say like thank you to the bus driver and sort of leave, hold the door open for the next passenger to come out. Yeah, obviously that requires a lot more energy on your end and a lot more effort and all that stuff. But, oh boo hoo! But you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, what, what's it uh? I forget. This is another one. Um, it's a, another saying. I don't know. I really don't know who did this one. Um, it's if I wanted to see a change in the world, so first I had to change myself, and then that changed my family, then that changed my community, and then uh, that changed yeah. the world. Yeah, yeah. I've de- I've definitely heard of this one as well. Yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's that is a perfect example. But a lot of people don't think that changing themselves will change anything at all. You know how many people that I've that. I've been at work and people will ask me, what do you do like, like to get the results that I've gotten? And I try to tell them and mm-hmm. they basically scoff and they don't want to take it. But the thing is, and it's yeah. just like, like you've done, as long as I can go out and reach one person and change their life, which I have, then mm. that's going to hit another person and that's going to hit another person. It's, it's the same thing with how you approach your videos. If you can change one person's life, that's going to change another person, change another person. And eventually, hopefully, it'll end up making its way making its rounds through everyone yeah yeah and and even if it doesn't like even just changing one person's life or even maybe say for example i release 10 videos but they only watch one video and even if that only like sort of gives them a stepping stone towards changing to the person they want to be then i i I personally feel like that's already more than enough like i don't know just a real motto that i um, believe in life as well is just help your fellow man because that's really all that we can do you know like that's that's the truth. That, that, yeah. That's that's I think that's the problem. A lot of people don't want to help their fellow man because they're out for themselves. Yeah, definitely. Like a lot of um, I guess those nasty emotions, like like I mentioned earlier, like a lot of those easier things to really embody within yourself, like greed and selfishness and resentment and jealousy and making comparisons yourself. That's a lot easier to do because, I mean, your mind's a lot more naturally predisposed to be that way due to like evolution and stuff like that. Like yeah. It's and it's just like you said. It's part of social evolution. Mm. It really, it really is. You have to change how you approach because humans are hardwired to feel greed, jealousy, and things like that. Yeah, but, just to survive, you've got to have more. Got to have more. Yeah, exactly. And then it's this complete different type of thinking, and you have to go past the the forty six and two. You know, you have to go past that and just forget that your brain is hardwired for this and ascend your brain to a next level. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, that, that, that level of ascension as well is just so um, so hard to get. But, I mean, I guess that's what we have to strive for, you know, as human beings, you know. Let's sort of start this uh, uh, making our marks now and start spreading that legacy and that ripple effect. Yeah, there's... Uh, and even if we fail, we, like trying by itself already is... Oh, that, that'll hey, have if, you, yeah. if you set a high goal and you don't reach your goal, uh, look at where you are. You know, as long yeah, as you, yep. ex- ex- you're you're higher than you were, and it's just like one of the sayings about running. Uh, the reason you run is to be better than you were yesterday. It's just like yep, that. Exactly, I am. As long mm. as you're doing better than you were yesterday, that's all that matters. And uh, yeah, another good one uh, that I like. We're talking about our our mantras and sayings. Um, mm. uh, was it a you're truly a man if you plant a tree today that you know that you'll never see fully grown. And that's that's like placing the seeds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's basically planting the seeds for somebody else, like raising your yeah. children properly, or you know, taking care of your brother. You know, and, and it's I think that's another good that's another good one. That's basically what we're doing here. Like, there's a lot of people who are going to change their lives, and we're never going to get to see the tree grow. And I, I I'm hoping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, Vic, I'm hoping that you start making your, your videos because I know you've been so inspired by Chris because you've been wanting to make your inspirational videos just talking about your, your own progress. And I think now is the perfect time to do it, man. I think it is, too. <laughs> I think, yeah. But I mean, I, I guess I kind of have the when, when I'm when I'm in my mode, you know, and I'm motivated, I guess I can kind of like rile some people up and be a rabble rouser. But, you know, <laughs> hey, <laughs> well, uh, I think that's about 45 minutes. And Chris, actually, you've grown a lot through this podcast because uh, at first we were just kind of like touch and go a little bit there. But uh, yeah. you've, you've opened up. You're going to get a lot more people contacting you. Trust me. And you're going to get Thank a lot you. better at this. And uh, yeah. I thank yeah. you profusely for joining oh us. Oh my today. gosh, like you, man, <laughs> I, I tell you, and I can't say it without hyperbole, this was the thing we were looking forward to all week, and thank you so much. It's and it, and it, it, The cool part is, it, it's kind of like uh, another one that I, I'd like to, to do in one of my, my videos, if I ever do that, or one of my recordings, it's uh, doing and achieving your what-ifs. And this basically was a what if. You, we were sitting there drinking and we were recording our podcast. We we're like, huh, what if we get Chris Legend on the show? That'd be cool. <laughs> and I was <laughs> like, you know, people need to start achieving their what ifs. Well, what if I go out today and run two models? What if I go yeah. out today and start doing starting strength? You know, and I think that's, out, yeah. that's what holds people back. They just don't, they don't strive. Yes. Yeah. They're too afraid. Like, um, cause I believe that what if, like, at the end of the day, if you st- if you're still asking yourself what if, like what if I what if I did this, what if I did that, then like really you didn't spend your day to the greatest capacity that you could have. Exactly. Exactly. There's there's no mm. question about that. Um, mm. Do you? What? Well, yeah, go ahead. So you guys go. Ahead. Oh, I'm just I was just gonna say I'm incredibly thankful to for you guys to have me on this. Obviously, um, like I've mentioned already several times now, this is my first podcast, and I hope I didn't disappoint too much. Oh, I know you guys are looking forward to this a lot, <laughs> but yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah, um. I mean, this definitely, you guys planted the seed for me. Like, um, if say, if I do get contacted by a lot of people in the future, this here, this podcast here was great training for me. And I really appreciate that you guys gave me this opportunity to, I guess, speak on a, uh, um, speak on this modality of uh, spreading a message through the podcast and actually having it recorded. I think that's what really made me the most nervous because I know this is going to be up on a website and be up for permanent, I guess, viewing for a very long time. But I mean, all in all, just thank you very much for this training session. And oh, like, like we said, you know, life is a continuous training session. So right, let's exactly, keep this going. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure that after we achieve more goals and you get more videos up, we would love to have you back on again because uh, I love adding new friends and new people to my networks and and just especially someone who is going to have a very very bright future, like you are. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm. Mean, I'll I'll be more than happy. But yeah, more than happy. <laughs> But uh, is there, do, do you have any uh, other like closing? Basically, what I'm going to ask you here is, it's, it's what they they told Johnny Cash when they gave him his record deal. If you had one song to play, and basically it, it's not like that. If you have one thing to say <laughs> to tell our our viewers, our listeners, if you have one thing that you want to tell them that is like that they want to know you as definitively, I can I can relate this to Chris Legend. What would that one thing you want them to know be? One thing that I want them to know. Um, fuck, this is a tough one. You guys really put me on the spot here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the one thing, the one thing that I'd say to people who relate to Chris Legend is just be, uh, just fucking do it. Like, just face your fears and just fucking do it. Like, oh, yeah. live with no regrets. Absolutely. Just fucking do it, man. Like, don't I, I don't sit that's, around. That's actually don't wait. Don't that's wait amazing. around. Yeah. That's amazing. I, I love that. That was actually a yeah. perfect. Just answer. fucking do it. <laughs> Love it. Right. Love <laughs> Thank it. you very much, uh, Chris Legend. Thank you very much, guys. We are looking forward to your, your next videos. You can uh, – what is your YouTube? Do you know what your uh, URL is? And we're going to put – if you don't know off the top, don't worry yeah, about it. Yeah, if you don't know off the top of your head, we can just edit it in <laughs> later. We'll put the links we'll in, put in, in the, the description. We'll put it in the quote-unquote show notes, and by that I mean in the YouTube. Thing. Yeah. Well, this will also yeah. make ways to iTunes, so hopefully some uh, one will catch it on there too. Yeah, exactly. Sweet. I mean, thank you very much, guys, especially for spreading it. I mean, even to your workmates and to those other forums as well. Like, wait, if you guys don't mind, what are those other forums that you guys um, posted it to, by the way? Uh, let's Just see. like, were they, fit, were they fitness forums or yeah, were they, they motivation yeah, they forums? Yeah, they were uh, fitness forums. Uh, one is on – Cool. I don't, I don't want to say the, the names of the forums on, on the air because – Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll, oh, yeah, no, nah, don't worry about it. Yeah, we'll it's get fine. We'll judged. <laughs> No, you might as well. Yeah. Have, okay, uh, 420 Chan has a fitness forum, and then obviously okay, yeah. uh, the the one that nobody likes to go on because it's very judgmental is 4chan.com slash fit or 4chan.org slash fit. It's one of the two. Uh, yeah. Which is very very uh you know terrible. I've heard. 
<laughs> you don't I've heard about there. it, isn't it? Don't ever yeah. go there. Don't don't do it. <laughs> I've heard about it. I've definitely heard of 4chan. I mean, um, I've seen some incredibly uh, motivational pictures come out of that, though. Like, um, uh, it's it's a mixed bag. Uh, you'll mixed get, bag, yeah. You'll get body dysmorphia if you go there. Uh, you will yep, feel yep. terrible about yourself. Uh, everything <laughs> you achieve in life will never amount to anything. You'll be made fun of. <laughs> but at the same yeah. time, it has helped make me who I am today because I can, like, yep. just like you were saying, Plit, uh, but they got Piana. Uh, Which Cock, Piana, yeah. Yeah, Cocklove. Uh, all these people, they look up to all these people, and you know, obviously, yeah. a bunch of them are juicing. But it's yeah, time. yeah, yeah, and they're like, oh, these results are, are typical if you just do starting strength for two years. And <laughs> okay, yeah, you're, yeah, you'll get you'll Very get harsh there, yeah, yeah. they'll be like, if you do starting strength and go mad, you're you're gonna put on mass. Yeah, you're gonna get yeah. fat. <laughs> but um, <laughs> that's uh, there's a couple other ones that I just use on my uh, on my smartphone. But uh, those are the main ones. And um, well, real yeah, quick, ahead. real quick, uh, I I I have to ask. It's not really so much pertaining to anything motivational, but in your videos you have a lot of uh, clips from different films and movies. Um, what are some of your favorite movies, man? Because there's a lot of good different variety in there, and it looks like we might have some of the same similar, uh, you know, like yeah, we have similar tastes. Yeah, what, and what? there's actually uh, I think it's in Life Is Short. I don't I want to know what movie it was that had that cutie pie Asian in it. No, oh, that movie. Um, <laughs> oh, that that clip was ver- would have been very deceiving then. It's called a uh, Cloud Atlas. Right. Oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. It's a uh, it's a three hour movie and it's pretty bad to be completely honest because it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's such a mind fuck. But it's got some pretty good scenes for motivational videos, so I had to sift through that. That's unfortunately. Awesome. <laughs> Fortunately, unfortunately, right? Yeah. Oh, I mean. But yeah, no. What what are your, some of your favorite movies? Uh, also, we can go with music. Like, do you have anything uh, on on those fronts? Like, what artists artistry? Um, personally, I don't really listen to a lot of music, but I'm quite open to all forms of music because I believe everything is uh, pretty good by itself. Obviously, like some genres of music have some bad about it, but overall, I think everything is good. Uh, in terms of movies, uh, some good ones that I've watched recently are like The Imitation Game. Okay. Um. Uh, Interstellar. I thought Interstellar was really good. I thought that was very good. A, I need to get around to that because I've heard. Yeah, heard everyone's things. been telling me I need to jump. Yeah, they've been nutting their pants about it. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, I thought I thought it was really good. Uh, I know. The, I, what, what's, what's no? Go ahead. I'm, I'm thinking here. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, it was really good. I mean, the ending scene evoked a lot of emotion, like a lot of those sad emotions and stuff. And every now and then, you know, it's really good to feel those. It really gets you all tearing up and everything. But yeah. Uh, those, so, Imitation Game, Interstellar, uh, Limitless, I thought Limitless oh, was yeah. a really good movie, so that that's gonna, a badass movie. That stuck out to me, because I could definitely see those Bradley Cooper, uh, uh, shots from the, from the films, uh, from your shorts in there, and I, yeah. I, I, I that was a great movie, I really, I really liked that one. Yeah, that was a badass movie, even though, like, uh, it was really based on the principle of, like, a drug or whatever that got him going. Yeah, but... the whole thing with the NZT, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Hey, uh, I think it's, you, you don't need that, uh, to... You can you can basically quote unquote take this limitless pill and it's basically inside of you really. I mean, yeah. Just, just need to unlock it. Just need to unleash it. Like exactly. initiate it. Yeah. Spark that yourself. Yeah. Hundred percent. Definitely. Definitely. I mean, and there are people in life that have done that. I mean, like um, very successful people as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There's another guy, uh, Ty Lopez. I don't know if you heard of him or not. Yep. Ty yeah, Lopez, dude. yeah, Lamborghini man. Yeah, Lamborghini man. That's how you. Lamborghini, do. black Lamborghini, yeah. It's like you can you can have this Lamborghini. Well, not this one, but you can have this Lamborghini. <laughs> yeah, no, he's uh he's the guy who reads a book a day. Uh, looked at him recently. Uh, ever seen Gladiator? Because that's one of my favorite movies. Whenever I'm feeling yeah. down and I'm feeling out and I feel completely just drained, I like to just sit down, relax, and watch Gladiator, and it reminds me yeah. that nothing is impossible. Um. Mm. I'm trying to think like any recent movies. I don't. I don't watch a whole lot of. Mike knows I don't watch a whole lot of movies. Well, mm. but, I just felt I needed to ask because if I didn't ask, I would always wonder. So I, I'm happy that, um, that I did. Put it out, yeah. 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 Got to well, risk it to get the biscuit, nah. Yeah. It's yeah. a good question. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I, <laughs> I guess we can. We can. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else? Because I don't want to just like cut it off and then. Oh, I know. I, I know that as soon as this is over, we're gonna be like, oh, I wish we would have asked them this or that. But the the beauty of it is, like he said, in the future we can have him on again. So. We'll, we'll have him on again. We will have him on again. And, oh, definitely come on again, yeah. And though we may have been your first uh, podcast, I know we're not gonna be your last. So we're definitely gonna watch your growth, and we just appreciate everything you've done for us. And we're gonna stick with you, and we're gonna follow you, man. 
Thank you very much. I mean, I really appreciate it. I've said this so many times and everything, but I mean, I really appreciate it. Like, it, it just, it's just really inspiring. I mean, the amount of, the amount that I've motivated you guys, I mean, you guys would have motivated me equal that amount back just by saying all these compliments that you've been giving me on this show. And that, that really shows that you guys are incredibly, uh, you know, just incredibly nice people and incredibly like, like, um, supportive people. And that's really good. Like, I mean, even to a degree, like selfless, you know, to like, cause I know a lot of people, like, they aren't willing to share other people's videos unless, it's sort of like a, I'll scratch your back, you scratch mine sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, oh yeah. But you no. guys obviously don't. You guys don't even care about any of that. You oh, guys no. just <laughs> you go balls deep into it all. So absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. We don't care about That's the amazing. fame or fortune or any of that no. crap. It, like yeah. we we I mean we do our podcast mostly so we can spend time to each other and just talk and yeah. if if a hundred people watch that's cool if ten people watch that's cool too but since we came across you I was like there's people that I know who could definitely benefit from what you're saying and who need that extra push we need to get it out there so this this I'm hoping this podcast is gonna open some more eyes open some more doors and you know just get people it's uh, not gonna open doors it's gonna kick them open right kick now. them fucking <laughs> down <laughs> <laughs> yeah I yeah, just that. I just hope more people can benefit the way we have and thanks so much for coming on. Thank you so much. Now, you guys are incredibly badass people. I mean, it's amazing. I mean, I'm even tearing up a bit here. You know, yeah. receiving all these compliments here, you guys. They can be all... Yeah, it's, um, it's great. Thank you very much again. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's, it's, it's no problem. We're, we're, we're going to say thank you forever until we just end this podcast. So, I mean, we're yeah. gonna, <laughs> but It's going to sort of like, like said, fade away your thank yous. This was Chris Legend. You can find him on YouTube. Just type in uh, Chris Legend, all one word. Um, it'll try and get you some stuff. It'll come up, say something about Chris Legend, some musician, but you don't want that. You want the other, other one below it. Uh, thank you for coming on. Uh, thank you for making these motivation videos, and we will love to talk to you in the future. And before you go, <laughs> give us one construct your legend. Oh, yeah. One construct. Construct your legend. Yeah. All right. Thank you, thank sir. You. All right, uh, Easy. All right. Enjoy, care, enjy, good night, all right. Enjoy your Sunday. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right.